little bit of it, and that's not including the backyard. This is how dirty I can get after mowing dad. It's a riding lawnmower, and it's super dusty. I'm about to head home to take a long shower. What's up, you beautiful animals? Um, today, this whole entire end of the week is like not stressful, but just there's just a lot going on that I have to think about. A lot of us, we get so, so very busy with our lives that sometimes we forget to literally just go outside, inhale the air, and exhale. <laughs> because you're alive, you should feel happy knowing that. I mowed my dad's lawn. He invited me to go fishing Saturday. Saturday is tomorrow, so that should be some uh, extra footage for you guys. I'm going to get a shot to the lake, maybe some fish that we catch. Hopefully we catch something. So the next time you see me, I probably, most likely, will be on the water. So enjoy. <laughs> Something's on. Yeah. Nothing on there now. Hmm. Maybe he just hit and left. Well, they were hitting it. Whatever it was, must have been too small to mess with. Probably too small for the hook. I think it's just that middle, but. Oh, well. That's crazy. Right, he's pretty close to the top. Yeah. Well, it looked like a big one. Yeah, I, I can fix him so he won't do that. Nothing on it, huh? Can't tell yet. It may be that jug there. No, I don't see it moving. <clears throat> That one. I don't think the current is where they need to be. I think they need to be. Watch that one over there. That one lonely tree that hasn't been washed away. This one here? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a matter, the bigger it gets, too, the bigger chance there is. They'd be testing us. It's a big old gar in there after <laughs> minutes. Splashing everywhere. Well, maybe one of these will get it. <laughs> or our rod's one. I'm going to go out in the center of this circle. You see the circle I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I think we got one. It's a pretty big bounce. That's where they're supposed to happen, you know, quick. Look over here. One bouncing. Yeah. It, it, 
acting up too. So to the dam. Yeah. To the dam, to the dam, dam, dam. It's extremely wavy. What part of the dam is this? Huh? What part of the dam is this? This is a gate. This is where all the barges go through. This is, they call it the lock. catch anything. I got some of them pretty bad on my shoulders and knees and my knees yesterday were like so sore like it was right on the kneecap that I got burned and it just made my legs and my entire legs sore. I was gonna have more to this vlog and actually make it pretty long but that didn't really work out. I think most of that footage I'm gonna get will be next weekend instead of this. This is Sunday and yeah i'm gonna wait next weekend because i'm just i'm under the weather and i just there's a lot going on just realized the camera stand was in the frame the entire time i am not all there today guys before i end this vlog i'll end it with this i'm going through a trial right now a couple times i've been given this specific advice if something or someone is worth fighting for then you keep fighting. If you feel that the situation you're in or the someone that it's about is worth it, then it's worth it. And then you fight for it. Because personally, in my situation I'm in, I don't, I choose to not put my sword down. Um, will I m not come out on top? Possibly in the end? It's a possibility but it's worth trying. Maybe this trial has something in store for me. Maybe it's gonna be proof that I can overcome anything. You know, um, I really believe in this. If I fail, I fail. It is what it is.
but I have decided through this trial that I'm going to keep <clears throat> holding on to hope. Because hope and faith is what are my weapons. That's what I have. Just remember, guys, no matter what, if you're going through something, keep holding on to hope. Keep holding on to that faith that it's going to turn out the way that you want it to.